Hey guys, how's it going? It's Adama Sangwin, and welcome back to Grey Garden. Today we'll be taking a look at a second video in my series of Simple Settlements. Now you guys know that I've been doing some stuff with vanilla in this, so one of the things that I did here without STC and STS is I was able to remove the robot parts, and it was actually quite fun trying to figure out the best way to do it. The best way I found was actually with the shotgun. I guess more specifically, the explosive shotgun. Nice. Yeah, come on, get out of here. Go away. Now, something else that I did here without uh, Place Anywhere is I actually did with uh, not even pillar glitching it. I was actually able to set these little pieces in here by hand, I guess you could say. So I know people struggle with uh, building in this little area, but I found that if you extend the platform out, it actually makes it quite easy. So anyway, we'll do the vanilla tour real quick, guys. And you guys have been here before. You've seen how it looks. And uh, for those that haven't, it's a very small settlement as far as to start off with without building anything here. We got what looks like it could have been a trading outpost or the beginnings of such if you're going to bring in some settlers. Or again, if you do the uh, missions for uh, Bunker Hill, you guys know about the trading outposts that you can get set up. Now, I actually did not do that with Grey Garden. Uh, I just basically set up a nice little building uh, that you guys may have seen that follow on follow me on Reddit. You might have already seen a couple of pictures. I think I put one in Discord as well of some of the things that I've done here. That was uh, about a, a month ago, give or take. So uh, as I mentioned in my last video that I just posted a couple days ago for Longfellow's Cabin, uh, I did uh, three videos that I deleted while I was gone. Uh, so technically I did six builds, but only three of them were recorded. I deleted three of the settlements. So let's go ahead and take a look in the back here. Yeah, again, if you guys have seen my one that I did for uh, Grey Garden that was inspired by Frank Lloyd Wright, uh, you know there's a lot of different things that you can do with this. So on and so forth. <laughs> but let's go back out to the front and we'll see how it turned out. Hold that thought. In keeping with that simple theme, we did a quick reinforcement of this side of the greenhouse, and I figured it wasn't outside the realm of possibilities for Mr. Handy to be able to do it. So we did a nice uniform reinforcement of this side using the shack bridge and catwalk pieces, and I thought this was a nice scrappy way to do it, and I really like how it turned out. Again, not a lot of things back here, but it's just something simple, a way to do it. Now, we'll typically get raider spawns back here and these raiders will typically fire right through the glass so if you notice everything is about head high approximately and i figured that turned out really nice now we do actually have three human settlers living here and these guys are former or reformed rust devils and not too worried about their happiness because again they they wouldn't have too much trouble living with robots now they actually handle the crops on the outside what we did is we actually raised the crops up off the ground and I figured once we did that, the grass itself would start to grow back in. So I thought this turned out really nice. That front of the greenhouse looks really awesome in the night tour. Nice. Now, Supervisor Green does actually sell some merchandise. He also does sell some of the things for your settlements. So you'll typically get some concrete, wood, and fertilizer, I believe, stuff that he sells. And man, look at these long shadows. Using the sun realignment mod, we'll be able to get that to come through and I love the uh, little bench back here you guys know it's one of my favorite pieces to use now we are using the robot settlers mod with this so we did bring in our old pal buddy how's it going there dude Greetings, buddy. now since we have the ability to do it I figured let's gild the lily and bring in our old pal professor Goodfields. what's going on there my friend Nice, he's our roaming security guard. Now this is Richard, Richard's our scavenger. He comes from the Simple Settlers mod. And of course that does name the NPCs that come in through the standard vanilla beacon or the ones that can actually come in from Andrew CX's other mod USO. 
nice. Now there are two versions, a mortal and an immortal version. The mortal version does make them killable, but puts them on the same level as the player character, in this case, Johnny Sweets. In keeping with that simple theme, we went with this prefab wood structure. Really love how that turned out. It's nice and scrappy, very easy to decorate, and plenty of room for three NPCs. Now we just have one other little turret out here in the front. I love the uh, shopping cart turret. Wish it had more defense, but again, it's just supposed to have something very rustic. Now if we come back up here, you'll see a little bit more of what I added in. And we'll go back down here to the bottom of the hill. We actually reinforced it with this little bit of a uh, walkway and staircase. And again, the views from the top of that building are amazing. Again, we're using the sun realignment mod. I'm actually using Nira's uh, anti-god ray mod, which I cannot remember the full name of it. I'll link that in the description. But yeah, I really love how it turned out. I know some of this is blurry. That's just because of the recording that just happens during the compression rate. So I do apologize if this comes up a little bit blurry on YouTube. Nice. So we went with a lot of decoration again. So a lot of focus with this was something simple. We wanted to make it mostly about the decoration, something that anybody could do even without using place anywhere. I, I just love how this turned out. Look at that. And this is where Remy, or excuse me, this is where Richard sleeps back here and Remy sleeps on the sofa. So we had to use the Shecklador sofa bed. We'll go back here to the back. Now, of course, there's no sleeping bag in this one, but we do have this nice pillow from Eleonora. And again, one of the invisible beds from USO. Nice. Now go up to the top. This is actually where Nira sleeps, or excuse me, Naya sleeps. And this is her main place. I figured she would probably be in charge of the humans as far as what they would actually do on a day-to-day -day basis. So why not put her in charge? Nice. Now you'll notice there I've got that uh, standard uh, table lamp and we made it a light source by using CVA. Again, the views from the deck here first thing in the morning are amazing. Really love how that turned out. That was actually by accident. So again, most of the pieces in this here are vanilla, but we used Quapa to go ahead and tilt those walls to fill in the bottom of that staircase and I thought that was a nice way to do it. I did have more walls, but I found the NPCs wouldn't actually path it, so I wanted to actually focus on something that was usable with this. We had a nice little sitting area here in the back for some privacy. It also fills in space, and I thought that turned out really nice. Yeah, again, that was all by accident how this little angle turned out. Now we'll go up to the top of the actual uh, crop area, or the raised garden, and we'll go say hello to Remy and Naya and again look at those shadows aren't those amazing again it, it, YouTube is not going to do this justice but on my screen when looking at it in high def at 2100 res oh it's amazing now we have some moot fruit and some corn up here this is Remy what's going on my dude go ahead and trade some stuff with you just so you can see yeah can we trade a few things okay I had no idea that Simple Settlers was available on PlayStation 4, so thank you, Andrew CX, for making that happen. This is Naya. Again, Just she's in charge of all the human settlers, and I, I'm really happy that I was able to make that happen. Nice. Now, you'll see throughout this tour, especially in the greenhouse, that I have several of these tall oil lamps. And I'm not sure if it's a mod conflict or just in this location, but those oil lamps do tend to go out or stop showing light. So again, that uh, better flickering for light barrels mod is amazing, but for some reason I'm having issues with these tall oil lamps. You guys can tell me if you've had that issue before. Nice. We do. I, I love the uh, Assaultron ashtray there. I don't know if you guys caught that. No, we do have a nice piece of uh, salvage, uh, some salvage power armor pieces on this. So we've got some raider legs here. We got a T-45 chest piece and T-51 helmet and arm pieces with pauldrons. Nice. Now we'll go inside the greenhouse here. Here is Supervisor Green. Now you'll notice that all these robots are souped up on the work from the workbench. So really happy that was really that. And keeping it a bit lore friendly, we did give him the nice backpack so he can carry some of those supplies that he sells. You guys will be very careful anytime you put one of these Mr. Gutsy models on the table with a bobblehead. Bad things tend to happen. I had no idea that was a thing. <laughs>
<laughs> now, the uh, razor grain here actually comes from USO, and so do these little crop uh, table pieces. So really happy that that actually worked out because I have trouble with razor grain growing. This is Mr. Gray, and here is Supervisor Brown. Again, something simple that I figured I would edit these guys. Didn't make it too lore-breaking and didn't want to do them, make them too OP. This is Mr. Blue. How you doing there, sir? Nice. And we'll go back around to the other side. I think we have uh, Mr. Black and Supervisor White on this side. Uh, this farm actually produces, I think, 49 food, if I'm not mistaken. I'm afraid I don't do autocrats, sadly. Nice. Now, the idea for this build actually came when I was doing a separate Raider playthrough on another save file. So here's an idea for a uh, vassal settlement for you guys. If you want to do it, get a lot of food. Make sure you have the uh, quest done for the robots. And if you want to have a less violent outcome, make sure you have some human NPCs and you can actually verbally convince them that it's in their best interest to serve your Raiders. Now, I know some people struggle building in this area again, guys, so by extending the foundations, I didn't have to use place anywhere to get these warehouse pieces in here. Nice. Now, I figured it was only fitting to have a former Mrs. Nanny with this while we were touring this robot settlement. So, again, I thank you guys so much for making it this far, and we're coming up on the end. One of the other things I want to show you is a little rooftop crash pad I made for myself and Curie when she travels with me. But, uh, yeah, I just really love how this turned out. Nice. Now, this is the staircase that leads up to my crash pad. Now, I know for those that build in vanilla, you can't do this with the floor piece. But I figured that wasn't too unimmersive to angle the... Uh, scaffolding floor piece under there because I figured that was a nice way to fill in the void because unfortunately the scaffolding ramps don't angle the same as the staircase. We got a nice little Raider chic apartment up here. Really nice. Just got a little sleeping bag, a nice place to sit, and we got a nice uh, view of the river down there that goes off toward Oberlin Station. Nice. A little bit of art up here as well. And as Bob Ross would say, this is another one of those happy little accents. Love that I was able to get the view of the river from up here. Let's go ahead and take a quick night tour, guys. Thank you so much for subscribing. And thank you and welcome to all my new subscribers. I am Madama Sanguine, and I love you all. I'm out.